Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, we're up here at the property again this weekend, and it's myself, my stepson Jordan, my mom, my dad, and a couple family friends. We're just up here for the day. Gonna do some maintenance around the property, do some bush crafting, do some uh, ATV riding, and check out the cameras, and see what kind of wildlife we see while we're up here. So of course, brought the cameras along, we'll see what we find, stay tuned. While everyone else is down building a bridge over the stream, Jordan and I brought one of the four-wheelers up here to get this log out of the road. So we're going to start working on that and continue on this trail. Jordan is holding here is a thistle and this is actually one of your fall time wild edibles you can just grab it and munch on it and doesn't even taste that bad what do you think Jordan it's pretty good First test of the new bridge. Well, we just got done building the bridge and cutting some of the trees out of the trails and everyone's getting ready to ride the ATVs and we realize that we're one helmet short so Jordan and I are just gonna take a hike and go see what we can find while everyone else goes out and rides so of course we'll bring you guys along see what we can find came up on this old dead tree and you can see from the recent bear activity They've been in there tearing this thing apart, looking for grubs and termites, whatever they can to eat before they hibernate for the winter time. So we definitely know there's a lot of bear activity out here, so we'll just keep our eye out. One of the things Jordan and I are doing while we're out here hiking is collecting natural tenders as we go. And here's another form of thistle that if you get this dry stuff in the middle of it, it actually takes a spark really, really good. It doesn't really catch on fire, but it'll smolder and help catch the other tinder on fire. So I always carry around this bag with all my tenders and everything in it. So we'll just collect some of this up. Carry it with us. Another thing that I've been wanting to show Jordan while we're out here is different wild edibles and different ways to survive while we're out here. And one of the things that we found are these wild blackberries. They're not quite ripe yet, as you can see. But you could eat them the way they are. They're just really sour. But we could also mark this spot and remember come back later and get ourselves some blackberries when they're ripe. Saw this fungus on the side of this stump over here. And although I would never touch any kind of fungus or mushrooms, especially without having a positive ID, I thought it was pretty interesting that this is actually sweating. You know, if you can see that liquid coming off of there. But it's just sitting here in the sun, just sweating away. Like I said, I don't know what kind of fungus this is, so I wouldn't even trust getting that moisture off there. But... Just thought it was pretty interesting. Well, Jordan and I have gotten on this old logging road and we've been hiking on it a couple of miles. I'm pretty sure I know where it goes. Not quite positive, but makes for a good hike, makes for a good day exploring. We've seen some turkeys, been able to practice a little bit of survival skills, but we're going to go ahead and just keep following this for a little ways. See if it comes out where I think it does. If not, we'll uh, just end up finding our way back to the property. So stay tuned.
Well, we're just going to take a little break for a little bit and uh, drink some water. And we found a wild apple tree while we're out here. So we'll have some water, some wild apples, regain some of our energy, and uh, keep going. Drew and I have stopped into this little section of woods we decided we're going to go ahead and stop and have our actual lunch and we wanted to make a fire to do that because we're going to have a mountain house chili mac but instead of making an actual fire on the ground so all we need is a cup of water heated up. I'm going to go ahead and cut this stick up into different sections, poke them in the ground, light the fire inside the sticks, and have my cup on top. That way all the heat comes up under the cup, boils our water really quick, and uh, we'll be able to eat our mountain house that much sooner. And that way we don't have to worry about a big fire on the, on the ground either. So, stand by. We're going to go ahead and get this thing constructed and get our fire going. All right, so we got our four post put in the ground here. And I've got some old dried cedar. I'm gonna go ahead and put it crisscross inside here. Get some more kindling and some tinder. Get this thing lit and get our water boiling. All right, so we got our four posts set up. We've got our kindling and our tinder set up in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this lit, get our cup of water set on top of here, and get our water boiling. Of course, part of the reason I'm bringing the kids out here is to teach them and pass along some of these skills, some of the knowledge. So I've shown Jordan how to build this. He brought out his Bear Grylls Fire Striker. So we're gonna go ahead and let him try to get this started. We've got some of the tinder in here that we gathered up from earlier today. So go ahead, Jordan. Let's see if we can get this thing lit. Don't twist it, just go straight. There you go. There you go, good job. It should boil. One of the other things Jordan's been wanting to do since we've been watching a lot of survivor shows and been studying up on this is he's been wanting to try some grasshopper and we've already taken the head off, taken the guts out, but he doesn't like raw food. So we're going to go ahead and skewer this one, roast it. He's going to try himself some over the fire roasted grasshopper. I think it's about done. You ready Jordan? Yeah. Here we go. It's not bad. Just like peanut butter. Yeah. Good. Could live off those for a while, huh? Oh yeah. All right, we're done with lunch, and we're gonna pack up, start heading back towards the cabin. But of course, like always, we're gonna see what we find on our way back. So let's get going. Since Jordan and I had our fire and used up some of our tinder on our way back, just want to be able to. Collect up some and just found this nice piece of sap on this damaged tree. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and put it in our tinder bag to replenish what we used up when we had our little fire here. So we'll just go ahead and throw that in the tinder bag. Well, we're back at the cabins and 
everyone's still out riding the ATVs, so I'm going to sneak up here a little ways to where we've got one of the game cameras and a couple of salt licks, and we'll see if I can catch anything up there sniffing around or checking out the salt licks. So let's get going, let's see if we can find something. Well, there's our game camera right there. It's overlooking this little clearing. Let's see the salt lick right there. We get quite a bit of activity through here. And we actually had another lick up there and in a series of photos that we've seen from the camera. A bear actually picked it up and took off up that way. So I'm going to go behind this game camera, go up that trail a little bit, see if I can see where the bear took off with that thing. Let's go up there and see if we can find it. Well guys, that was our day up here at the property again. Just having some fun, doing some exploring, doing some maintenance up here, but the most important part just getting out with some family and friends, getting out and living and enjoying the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along. And I'll see you next time. Go out and live.